Good morning everybody, guess where I am? Glastonbury tour, you can see the tour behind me. I'm on actually on one of the, um, let's just say one of the ridges that goes round the side of the tour. I've not been here since 2001, I believe. Uh, it is spectacular, it is a fantastic blue sky day here in the UK. It's what, uh, oh, probably about 15, 16 degrees. I've had my hair done, it's still a little bit tatty. We did set off at um, quarter to five this morning to get to this point now at what? We're about 10 past nine. Things have changed a little bit, but it's still the same feeling. It's still this fantastic feeling of the tour. There's a rabbit over there. And I'm approaching the old um, cavern to um, to the tour. It did. It's actually hollow Glastonbury tour. Um, I was telling Chris on the on the way down. Um, there is an entrance, uh, but the cavern has been uh, closed off. Probably closed off about 20 years ago. Um, and I'm just approaching that point, and that's the way that I make my ascent up um, up the tour. So um, yeah, you can just see the uh, here somewhere here. You get this right on the, uh, about there that's the tower that's the tour so um i'll speak to you again very soon guys and uh, yeah this is uh, just fantastic just being back here i'm really uh, looking forward to getting up to the top again and uh, filling up the old energies that i used to do so bye for now okay this is matthew james i'm uh, at the old um, cavern entrance to the tour many 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 years ago um, you could actually get yourself in inside the tour because the tour is hollow there's a story of care widder care wider c-a-e-r w-y-d-e-r w-y-d-r or glastonia which is the the glass city the crystal city and the story goes that there's a fairy um, a fairy city below the tour, that the tour is hollow. Um, indeed, all this land here was was water, and there was a huge lake. And Glastonbury at one time was actually on the coast, and it was a um, major port for for all the tin, for the tin mining um, in this area at that time. And the, the story goes that uh, there was the Isle of Avalon and the island of Avalon being um, the, uh, the entrance to the underworld, the magical Isle of Avalon. Well, this is one of the entrances to inside the tour, or it was, until it was all, well, you can see, blown to smithereens and blocked up, and we still have the commemorative tea, trees uh, with the ribbons. I'm standing on a very warm stone here, and I'm looking across. Uh, it's brilliant sunshine. The tower is there. I'm really in my element. Um, it's just a, an unusual um, vlog, daily vlog for me. Being able to do it from Glastonbury Tour instead of the Urambi Hills. Um, okay, I've not got the same birdies as uh, Australia. No ravens, no parrots, no kestrels yet. But I have been photographing um, crows or, or rooks. There has been a hare. Uh, there are jackdaws around. I'm just waiting for sight of my first magpie. Uh, the magpies over here are very different to the um, Australian magpies and hopefully I can capture an image of, uh, of one and uh, I'll be able to show you the difference between the two. I really do want a, um, a magpie image because it's for the artwork that I've actually got planned but uh, yeah I'm feeling really the, the recharging that is going on at this moment in time um, with the energies that are beneath my feet. It has been um 2001 you know it has been 15 years since i was i was last here so it is a long time essentially it's not really changed we've still got all the trees over there we've still got the tower uh, access to the, the tour is a little bit more difficult than it was but uh, i'll be going down into the town um, a little bit later chris is in the car she's probably having a snooze right now but i'm just making the most of being, being able to be here i'm going to make my way up away from the tourist trail i'm going to go up the, the steep way to the top of the tour and take some more photographs so um, i'll speak again very soon everybody um, and bye for now okay i'm coming down off the tour it was like uh, that called blackpool promenade up there just heaving with people uh, people 
rotating people, photographing people, just sitting there, people just taking in the fantastic view. So uh, I thought I'd give them a bit of respect and not let them hear my dulcet tones. And I've got a quiet moment now, and I thought I would just take a bit of film just as I'm coming off the tour. This won't be my last visit today on the tour, and just uh, make sure I go up there as soon as possible to recharge my batteries. Um, it is fantastic to be able to actually film on last and tour. And, because in the time that I was last here, it, there wasn't digital cameras, not as such. So uh, I shall uh, catch you guys again very soon. I hope you like the new hairstyle, and uh, I'll speak soon. Bye for now.